Yo, what up, people? Welcome to the Joe McFoe Show. We are going to do some more work on Shadow Boxers as per usual. So let me get some music playing. Make sure you guys can hear that. Let's see who's on. Manette is here. Hello, hello. Kathy is here. What's up, Kathy? And uh, yeah, so I made a little mistake. I promised last week that we would do a prop and I had a full intention on you know doing that. And then I realized the water tower is more of an environment. So <laughs> we changed the thumbnail literally like 10 minutes ago. Um, so we're gonna design a water tower. It's a very prominent location in the Shadow Boxers comic, specifically the Art of Peer Pressure episode with Javen that we've been working on. And so, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, let me just make sure, can you guys see my screen? I know last time we had a couple of uh, tech issues with that. So can you guys who are watching, let me know if you can see the screen properly and then I can get to the sketches and showing my reference and stuff like that. Um, but uh, but yeah, in the meantime, let me know how you guys are doing in the chat. How was your week? Uh, are you guys uh, struggling or are you guys excelling in everything that you're doing? Okay, Kathy says yes, we can see the screen. Excellent. So what I have here, these are some sketches I did on paper um, and they were just getting inspiration for various water towers that I've seen across um, across the world. So I have this whole thing here. I, I Googled Brazilian water tower and somehow came up with all these things. Um, and some of them have really interesting shapes. Like this is really cool to me. Um, oh, snap, Megan's on. What's up, Megan? How you doing, homie? Thank you for coming on. Um, so a lot of these have really cool shapes. And one of the things that is really essential to the way this has to be designed is uh, I mean, part of the plot is that Javen and his friends, they go up and spray paint the wire tower, which is a federal offense. And that plays a role in, in the story. But because of that, it has to be done in a way where it looks like they could actually spray paint it and people will be able to see it because, um, you know, we don't want to do something really basic. Like when most people Google water tower, um, they usually spell with an E, unlike myself. And, uh, you know, it looks like this usually. And I figure, you know, it's kind of boring. We've seen it before. So I want to try to create something that is one, uh, very unique looking in terms of design and also very practical. So that's kind of the balance that we are working on trying to achieve here. Um, so yeah, um, let's see. So I sent this to the, the chat with uh, Kathy and Megan that I have. And I think we decided based on these, I think we like this one, this one, and this one. All three of these um, have a unique shape. They all have this kind of V taper thing happening. And then they also have a place where the characters can actually stand. And in this case, it has a flat surface. This one's slightly curved, but I think that one's okay. And same with this one. These other ones are more um, challenging to do because especially these round ones. And I think it was Megan who brought up a good point, doing something like more spherical and having words written on it is just gonna be a challenge. So we're gonna try to do something a little bit different. Wesley's in the house. What up, Wesley? Thank you for coming on, man. Appreciate you. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm gonna start with something like this. And also one of the, the design decisions I made with this, let me actually go to my, um, my artwork document and show you guys something. One thing that uh, is incredibly important in the world of shadow boxers here. I'll show my turnaround here. Is this particular uh, necklace or prism that Javen is wearing? It's very essential to the story. He's not going to be wearing this specific one in the comic for reasons, but um, for story reasons. But I wanted to kind of base the wire tower off of this shape a little bit, and so that's kind of what you're seeing happening here. This basic idea of having something kind of like um this kind of diamond shape and then you know that whole thing so you see that motif, motif in a lot of places in shadow boxers where it comes from i don't know i just made it up um <laughs> but yeah that's what we're gonna be doing i think 10 works too or at least i like the shapes and think they could come in there kathy says "Ooh, story reasons yes kathy knows the story reasons <laughs> here you know what let me actually number these because i just realized it's probably gonna be a little challenging otherwise let's um let's start with one two i drew these on paper and did not number them uh 
eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so those are our options for right now. So Megan, you said you like 10 as well. So right here. So yeah, any of these could work. And also I wanna know what you guys think. Now that we have a number, what do you guys think is a cool shape for a wire tower? What do you guys think looks unique? Now seeing them all together and what I can do I can take ideas from each of these and continue to iterate on them and we'll create uh, a wire tower. Now, yeah, the goal is to be able to, you know, three model this and make it easier so that we don't have to worry about things like crazy perspective and stuff, because that's going to be annoying. Uh, but yeah, what do you think is the most interesting shape here? I circled the parts or the ones that are so far have been the most popular in either this conversation or private conversation with my team. Keeping the shapes consistent between all the designs makes it feel cohesive. Would you agree? Yes, that's that's part of what art direction is. So uh, when I was a kid, when I was maybe 16 or 17, I went to Disney Studios and I went to Phineas and Ferb. Uh, I, I got to see their production and I got to meet with the art director. And one of the things that she said was that if you look at the plants and the foliage around them and like in the backyard, uh, they actually have a shape that's similar to the shape of uh, Phineas and Ferb's face faces. Um, let me see. So it was a very subtle thing, but it helps if you have similar shapes everywhere so that you can um, you can kind of replicate it. I don't remember which environment uh, it was. It might even be these leaves. Like if you look, it actually doesn't look too far off of like how Phineas looks. So yeah, like right here. Um, yeah. So that's a little trick that a lot of people will will put in their work. And so I try and incorporate that as well. I think one feels the best designed, uh, but wait, you're going to make a 3D model for the comic itself. Why 3D model it instead of just draw it for the comic? Uh, it's not gonna be all 3D models, it's just for the environments because the, the buildings I have in here, the, the world, um, it's kind of, a lot of the buildings are kind of gonna be complex in shape. And so instead of drawing that all the time, I think it would be nice and speed up production if we create a 3D model and then just say, rotate the camera, rotate the camera, draw it over, you know, and put in all the details that way. So, and that's only for, you know, things like environments. It's very common. You see that done a lot. Um, and it just speeds up process because uh, shadow box is a very big story and uh, there's a lot I want to put in it. So I don't want to you know make it any slower than it needs to be <laughs> so move that over here and you guys can tell me what you think um okay so we're gonna start off with this new sketches here and here let me actually bring out javen real quick i'm just gonna crop him nope not that not that place yeah all right so we have a water tower water tower is let's see if i were to isolate this let's see what elements do i like from these i really do like a lot of what one is showing but i also kind of like how this one is curving back out at the bottom i also like this kind of triangle design yeah i think the issue with one is it just feels like it's too too top heavy I think that's the big concern I have for it right now. Hello, I really like the pattern on 10. Looks like it fits well with the world. Okay, excellent. So yeah, the pattern of 10, it's also kind of seen in seven. Um, and even one is just not as prominent. So let's see what happens when we work on this. So you know what? I'm also gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna use the symmetry tool because why draw both sides when you can just do it once? And uh, I, I honestly implore you guys, these are the types of cheats that I don't really consider cheats. I think it's just efficiency. <laughs> so let's see. Let's have this here. I'll be honest, guys. I haven't had a chance to even draw today. I had um, uh, quite a bit going on. Went to the gym. Hung out with my aunt. Hadn't seen her in a little bit. And uh, by the time I got home, I was like, oh, man, I got to do other stuff. So didn't have time to draw this, so I might be a little, uh, a little off. But that's okay. That happens from time to time. Okay, so I think I want to make sure that whatever I do, there's enough room for the, I guess, the sign where they're gonna 
do their graffiti. And then we got the top here. Um, man, I actually do really like the top of this. Maybe have that be a little stairwell here. Let's see. Wesley says seven is nice too, like a balance between triangles and rectangular shapes. Ah, yes. So um, the rectangular shapes. Yeah, I guess I guess these are more rectangular shapes. I didn't even think about that. Um, but yeah, you're, you're right. I, I, I do like this. I like those elements a lot. So hopefully, I mean, this might be a, a much simpler design because it doesn't have to be something I overthink uh, a lot. It just has to be functional and work for the story purposes of the story. Kathy Kathili says, work smarter, not harder. I added that last part up. Speed is a huge thing. I know one uh, BG artist at Webtoon who said she was expected to do um, to do EST 80. Oh, wait, EST. Is this supposed to be at least at least 80 panels a week? This is one that's official with Webtoon. That's the pace that people expect. Yeah, so it's insane. Actually, um, there's this project. I think it's called Kydros. When I was at Lightbox, um, when I was at Lightbox a couple years ago, I went to this panel. Here, let me let me try this again. Gadget, but so if this is yeah, this is it. So they have this project called uh, Kydro. Kydro, that's what it is, and it's a video game and a web comic. And what they do is they create assets from the comic and interchange them with the game. So they're able to create both at the same time. And it just speeds up everything. We don't have to worry about something like that. So um, I actually haven't read their story, so I can't vouch for how solid it is. But I think that concept is very, very cool. And I think it's incredibly smart. And so I don't have all the resources or the knowledge to create a game necessarily, although people have asked for a Shadow Boxers game. Like, you know how to make one? You should you should make a game. Like, I don't know jack squat about doing that. I could do the art for it, maybe. <laughs> you know, I could certainly do that. But as far as... The other stuff, I, I don't know. I don't know. So we can add a little section up here. I don't know what this would be. Funky little, you know, funky little design, little space here. And then this top part was supposed to mimic um, the top of the Javen's necklace there. But I don't know how I feel about it right now, to be honest with you. Let's see. I have to make it look right. If it's small, it'll be okay. And then the other thing too is um, there needs to be there needs to be like a ladder, like some ways they can get up and down. So if you look at most water towers, they'll have a very specific um, like look right here. So sometimes they'll have these uh, I don't know, these legs to them. So maybe I can incorporate that into the design. Actually, maybe I, instead of having this be uh, a solid shape, I can have this be something like that. And you could have the little things going here. I still need to figure out how to do it up there, though. Wow, 80 panels. Yeah, I know Webtoon artists as well who breaks all her stuff down into drawn assets that she basically copies and pastes into the panels. Yeah, that's um, uh, that's exactly it. Estimated. Oh, okay, my bad. Estimated 80 panels. Um, let me see. That's smart. Oh, man, I could talk for hours about this. Go ahead, Megan. Go off in the comments. It'll help boost the, uh, <laughs> help boost the algorithm anyway. Uh, by the way, speaking of which, please like the video if you have stayed this long. It's only been 15 minutes of the stream, but I appreciate your um, attentiveness and your support in the channel. So please like, share the video if you want. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me on this channel boxes journey. All right. So as I'm looking at this. So these little elements here don't have to stand out that much. Um, they just need to be something that actually works. So I wonder if it might even be better 
What do you guys think? Should I do something like this? Here. You think I should have the uh, these little brackets over here, or not brackets, I'm sorry, um, the legs be kind of slanted, or should they be more straight like this? I feel like it would be a nice uh, pattern to go with the triangle design to have it be like this, but I'm curious what, uh, what you guys think. I feel like this vertical is like too abrupt for it personally. And then there's probably gonna be one here too. Make it four and then be like, bam, bam. Actually, this shouldn't curve, it should just be like this. Something like that. And then, let's see. Angled for me, slanted looks nicer, feels triangular. Yep, exactly. All right, cool. When two or three are gathered together, there we go. So we got an agreement there. Actually, I'm starting to like this. So the next thing, um, we're gonna have some some writing in this area. Um, it's gonna be, so the city is called Shiloh, but I need to make sure the writing is big enough where people can actually like see it. So I might need to do something like this where I enlarge it a little bit. And again, this is just a sketch. I, I can always go over this again. So yeah, and then we're gonna need to have some stairs or stairwell. Um, here, how does how do they get up there? What's the what did they do? Is it just I think on every leg there probably has they probably have some a ladder or something. Okay. This is where the research comes in. Okay, yeah, so people can climb up this way. Sometimes they just have a very overt ladder, I guess. Just one thing. Usually I, those are for the smaller ones. Yeah, okay, so, the, so there'll be ladders here, here, and then on both sides like that. So that'll be perfect. Let me see. Uh, Render 3D models for characters, not just guides underneath, can be very stiff and limiting, so I don't think it's ideal, but we got to make it work one way or another. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to use 3D models for the characters specifically. Um, it's more just the environments that I'm concerned about. Fig characters and figures, they're they are fun for me. I prefer to do it just loose anyway. Are you planning on putting out pages weekly through Webtoons or any particular place or just do your own thing? Um, let's see what Megan said first. I don't think Jordan answered your question. I'm the 3D modeler. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize there was a question there. My bad. Sorry. Um, uh, uh, to answer your question, uh, I plan to do both. I want to put it on Webtoon and I want to put it on my own personal website. Um, I actually, if you are interested, there is a shadow boxers website. There's in the, it's in the description, but just to show you, since I know you're new, Wesley, it's shadow hyphen boxers.com. And we have a little bit of information here. Um, we got to update a few things, but it's working. And we also have a merch store if you are interested in like a phone case or a shirt or socks or something like that. So yeah, that's that's what we got going on. And since uh, since this is a comic work, and I'll show you guys how it's looking right now. Um, this is where the comic, the first comic is right now. Uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to just sit here and read it to you, but um, it's going to be about. We're aiming for between 18 and 20 pages. These are extra. And so uh, this tells a very short story of Javen, who's the main character. And then we're going to have four other uh, shorts or prequels that talk about the other main characters in the story, at least for the first, I guess, volume or season, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then we're going to get into like the main story. Part of the reason is because one, I would like to have the practice of, you know, seeing how to tell the story, getting people introduced and excited. And then uh, getting used, and I also want to get more used to writing uh, because I personally, I think it was Megan's suggestion, uh, jumping into a brand new world and expecting it to be this like big epic thing without practice can be a little intimidating, especially for someone like myself. So that's why we are taking the time to build out these small mini stories that are canon, by the way. They're they're essential to the story. They actually add backstory on all the other characters, um, so it's official, if you will. But 
it's not like the main main story so yeah Mega says, not all that good though. So when it comes to more complicated things, I'm gonna have to either learn or get help. <laughs> we're, we're in the same boat. I think the scale of the struts might be worth looking at. I feel like it makes the tower look smaller than it could or should be. That's a good point. So yeah, I, I will work on that. Will it be a scroll for format? Uh, the way we're gonna do it is, um, I we're trying to plan it out and see. Right now it's in book format because I would like to have these printed. But the way we're going to do the panels, there's going to be sep they're going to be easy to separate. So we could put it into scroll format uh, um, and just see how that works. I know it's been done before, uh, but this is new, so we're trying to we're trying to figure it out. Um, ooh, the sketches are already looking so good and dynamic. Can't wait. Thank you, Lily. I appreciate that. Ah, interesting. Okay, so wait, it's paneled in each page. You don't want to do the Clip Studio scroll format. Wouldn't that be an issue with Webtoons? um with webtoons um so how i put this um each panel is its own like separate layer so or its own group so we can always move the panels around so what the plan is uh which i, which I assume will work is just we'll have to create another document that's scroll format and then just plug those things in and copy and paste we'll probably have to do some editing and post to make sure like certain things don't get cut off or whatever and just change up things a little bit here and there but uh but that's basically the the goal of that um okay so good questions though wesley i appreciate them um let's see so if we're talking about scale what did i say how tall did i say this thing was <laughs> i have to go back in my script um because i actually don't remember if i even gave it the height so let me go on my, my document if it loads up i use file draft pro to write it's uh software for like screenwriting they also have templates for comics in here uh which is great okay so obviously i'm not going to show you guys the whole script um you guys have seen parts of it before in previous streams if you want to go back and watch them you can um let me see uh -huh. water tower Okay, I don't think I gave a height to this thing. So that means I can just play and have fun. <laughs> um, uh, that was mostly my call as the comics director to design for print first and then put into scroll format for Webtoon. And this is based on the Webtoon Space Boy. Um, yeah, Megan Megan is the designated comic queen of the, of the group. So there's myself, there's Megan, and there's Kathy. Kathy does a lot of the uh, design work. So like the, the merch that you guys see, the website was all designed by her. She's also gonna be doing the lettering for the comic. Um, and then Megan is, you know, helping me to uh, design characters and props and environments and stuff, and also helping with uh, story and layout of the comic. And so, um, and then obviously I myself, I'm the creator, I'm the, the uh, the shower boxer boss, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, may, we're still trying to find a, the right sounding nickname for me, but um, yeah, that that's those are our roles, um, and uh, yeah, just we're just trying to bring something into reality. All right, I actually really like how this looks. Honestly, probably curve that. And yeah, if we have ladders here, I can enlarge this. This section right here. Is there anything else that I want to take from this? I probably want to make this design here a little bit more complex. Um, so I might do something like a thin stripe here. Something like how I have Kayla's um, uh, design on Kayla's pants or leggings, I mean something like this that could be pretty fun um yeah and there's down here is the base so let's yeah let's let's start with this i, I really like this sketch i like how it's coming out so what we're gonna do we're gonna shrink that we'll lower the opacity and i'm going to just put it into slightly different perspective use some ellipses and tangs like that um, so 
So, oh wait, I'm copying this too much on. Let me let me actually scale this properly because now I think about it, I might not even really need to do that right now. Comics director sounds too fancy, but basically I just handle most things specific to the comic media. Hey, it's a three person team. We can have the fanciest names we want. <laughs> Gotcha. Makes sense. Cool, guys. I got to get my day started, but it was nice hanging out. Joe, if you uh, want to do that podcast, let me know. Take care, guys. Oh, thanks, Wesley, for coming. I appreciate it. Also, you can just call me Jordan. Uh, it, yeah, I, I had a feeling this would happen. But yeah, Joe McFoe comes from my full name, Jordan McCracken Foster. But uh, but yeah, dude, thank you so much for coming on. All right. So let's get this Watatawa. Watatawa going. And I guess if we were designing it at eye level, it would look something like this. So let's say that this is, I guess, the ledge here. There's going to be a little bit of a ledge for them to walk on. And then we're going to make this a little bit taller. And I have to think about the scale. So if I were to draw Javen, Javen would probably be... this tall, which means Zalam, who's the tallest of the group, he's probably, wait, how tall is Zalam? Let me go in my, uh, my archives here. Just to make life a little easier for myself. That's one thing that's super important whenever you're designing things, guys, is to do the scale. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the first thing that you do. Um, in my opinion, you can, you know, get a basic idea of what you want and then add scale later. But as, but at this point, because it seems like we're getting kind of close on it, um, I think that it's a good idea to start putting that in. Um, this is the problem with doing stuff like this. You see all this selecting, it's not getting the, the areas here, um, the gray, because they're shiny. But that's all right. So let's say Javen and Salam are about this height. There's a scene where Javen actually um, uses his powers to give Zalam a boost on this thing. So if he's this tall already, and I want him to, let's say, be this tall. Let's see. When do you have this tall? And that means I think the... Um, thing has to be at least like here. Yeah, it might have to be something like that. And then we can come in and do that black portion. And I'll cut in in a second. Odie's on, what up, man? Thank you for coming on, dude, appreciate you. You could blend y'all's name together like Bright, like Meg, Meg Joe, Cat Joe Meg. <laughs> Oh, Meggie Joe and Cat Joe Meg. That sounds weird. <laughs> well, I don't know, because with, with Bright, the thing is, oh, first off, we should probably, I guess that counts as a reference, right? Well, I think Jordan needs to come first, although I am, of course, a fan of cats being front and center. That's hilarious. Um, Cat Joe Meg, Joe, Joe, Joe Cat, Joe Meg. Yeah, you guys can keep workshopping that. I got to design a water tower. Um, I can't think of a uh, couple names right now <laughs> for for shadow boxers. Yeah, something like this. And then how did I do? Okay. So yeah, there we go. You can either give it a little bit of a point and so there's going to be a big graphic right here like i said before so we can put that in real quick and for now it's going to say the the name of the city which is going to be shiloh and actually we're gonna have kathy do a graphic here she's going to design how that looks um 
That sounds like sauce flavors. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. It does kind of like a sauce flavor. Yo, can I get the uh, Kathy Jo Mag with the with the burger? I can see it. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. Let's do the design on um, on here. Oops, let's change the color. And actually, you know what? We could do a more interesting design. Matter of fact, if I go to my Pinterest board and go into um, my shower boxers area, there's a bunch of patterns I have saved. So we could probably, especially because I, um, this is going to be like a three model and it's going to be easy to warp stuff. We can do a more complex pattern since it's not a character. So this ought to be fun. Like we could easily do something like in this realm if we wanted to. So we don't have to just stick with basic triangles anymore. I tend to do that, like I said, for characters because um, uh, I, I'm going to be redrawing them all the time and I don't, you know, I don't want to worry about that sort of thing. This is a cool pattern right here. A little, little much, or even something like this, actually. I always love this. This actually could look kind of cool um let's see I'm debating how random it should be there's some that are more uniform patterns and there's some that are a little bit more random like this uh cloth right here so i'm not really sure i feel like for the structure of it it probably needs to be something more um consistent overall but i actually i really like this one right here this middle Triangle. Let's let's copy that, or not copy. I'm sorry. Steal. We're gonna steal it. Where are my manners? Joe McCat. <laughs> That's actually not that bad. Joe McCat. Joe McCat. Yeah, I, I can work with that. If you want to be cheeky, you can make it in universe sauce. That would be funny. Actually, there was an episode of Cora. I'll get my water in a second. But they had a smoothie in there, and it was called the kale nutsko, which is supposed to be like kale, um, kale, coconut, and nuts or something like that. But it's based off of Brian Canetzo's name, who also like apparently drinks a lot of smoothies. So I thought it was funny. There's a really cool peach shaped water tower toward. Atlanta. I can't remember exactly where it is, but it always awed me. A peach-shaped water tower. Okay, let me look. Water tower Atlanta. I almost put peach-shaped, but I don't know if that's going to help me. Um, you are go for chicken. Okay. All right. That, that's an interesting prop. Um. Is it this round one? Oh, no, wait, it must be this. This must be it. <laughs> wow, that is, it looks like James and the Giant Peach found a nuclear power plant. <laughs> um, 3D modelers start sweating at the thought of UVs. Oh, I don't know anything about UVs. I think uniform shape works for making the 3D later hydration. Well, the thing with it is like, there's some things we could just put on there. Like I'm more concerned about just the overall shape. Um, like if it's a pattern that seems a little too complex, we can always paste it on there. So it, it's a very, like we don't have to come up with the most complex models. Like, um, or, or, like, let me see. We probably won't be creating really complex stuff like this. It'll probably look very rudimentary. Um, let me see. It doesn't look like there's a version on here. Yeah, like this is the type of stuff that we're talking about. Like these types of 3D models, you know, nothing crazy. Spectacular. I think even this would probably be overkill because it's mostly for perspective reasons and scale. You know, that's the only reason that we are really doing that. Because here's the thing. We like drawing. I like drawing. And so I want to do as much of that as possible. But I also, whoa, 
uh, I also don't want to, you know, spend all this time uh, crushing myself to do this, you know? Okay, so we got that. And then let me see how the brackets and the legs work. Jordan, check the Discord, please. I did a doodle and had some direct references, but that being said, uh, you changed the design so much and the time it took me to draw that. Oh, okay. Let's let's check the Discord. Hold on. Uh, hold up, hold up. Wait, why are the two? I'm conf oh, oh, I see. Okay. I see what you're saying. The angle's too extreme. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can adjust that. Not a big deal, but good catch though. Good catch. Thank you, Megan. Appreciate you as always. And it's still and it's still applicable, you know. Um, it's still very much applicable. Um actually, should this be taller or no? This might actually be too short for what I was thinking. Yeah, as I'm zooming out a little bit, maybe just a little bit, do something like, there we go. Just make it a little taller. Did some research on the Peach Water Tower. It's nicknamed Peachoid, and it's actually in South Carolina, and it holds 1 million gallons of water. That's pretty dope. Uh, honestly, what will probably happen is we will have a flat graphic that will then be warped onto the shape of the model. Yeah, that's probably true. The angle you had on yours is more extreme than that first one. Um, wait, the angle I had on mine. Oh, oh, wait. Now I'm confused. Hold up. Oh, because you, you just narrowed it in, right? You just made it more narrow. Is that what you're saying? Okay, and then uh, let's draw the floor right here too. Not too bad, not too bad. So this rail is probably gonna come up a little higher here too. Where's my characters? Actually, might be cool if I wonder if we can get the railing to be slightly off. No, nah, maybe just straight up and down makes it easier. Okay, so we're gonna have two here, and then there's gonna be one in front. Okay, let me do this first. I'll put whatever pattern needs to be here. So whatever I do, I'll make sure it's even later on. We'll just say that that's the pattern for right now, just for sake of ease. I might duplicate it a lot. And there's going to be a nice big graphic there. And then here, let's change the color to a slightly darker blue. Come in here. It's actually too wide. It's probably closer to this. Yeah, something like that. And then there's going to be a, a ladder. The ladder of progress. Wait, how did we draw this in the comic? Hold on a second. I just realized. Huh. 
That's fine. This will be fine. <clears throat> I just want to make sure we weren't contradicting ourselves with this. All right, so that ladder is also going to be on both sides. Bam. Where is I? I guess I could have kept that symmetrical. <laughs> One top is a little narrower, and two is a lot narrower. They're both narrow. It's just a thought. I think I was unclear because I wasn't sure um, if this was like a before of like my my drawing and this was yours or um, I was 100 percent sure. I think that's where my confusion came from. Um, let's see. OK. Um, you know, I actually I might need to bring this down a little bit because I don't want it to distract from the main attraction here. So let's bring that down just a little bit. Yeah, so now the main thing is this big old graphic right here. And then as far as the, we can always figure out the width later. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty cool. Now I still need to add like the little tiny bracket stuff here. So let's uh, let's work on that. Um, <clears throat> probably gonna have something around the middle section, and then. See how these look. A lot of these wire towers look like they have a, um, like almost like some sort of casing. So I might have to do something like this. Where it feels like there's something kind of covering. So we'll have something like that. We'll also have to put that here. Just do that. Okay. And then how can I track this? Maybe I'll do like two of these. Maybe or two more. Or actually, no, I think this should be fine right here. And then create cross here. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else we can glean? Let's see. Um, where's that first page of wire towers? Because here's some other ex pretty wild examples. Not sure when these were made, but they're a wonderful reference to use. Like some of these got windows and everything. It's like a mad scientist lives here. Okay, we're gonna need, yeah, we're gonna need some sort of way to bolt it down. Let's just put that in here, just as a little reference point. And then what I can do real quick just make this gray. I'm not saying that the whole thing is actually going to be gray. I honestly don't know. Just see what we're going to color it. It would make sense if it were a lighter color, though.
There we go. That one with the double is very interesting. Never seen that before. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Sorry by the double. I mean double platforms at the bowl part of it. Double wait the double platforms. I'm so confused. What are you talking about? <laughs> is this a photo reference or my drawing? I can't tell now. <laughs> Something like that. And here, I'm going to move my characters down again for scale. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a pretty good size water tower, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's keep it going. So there's going to be rails of some kind. So let's plop that in. And let's just say, fill that in. They got a nice sturdy floor. And of course it's gonna be completely round. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of feeling this, I'm feeling this. And then here, what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm actually gonna just type in the word child. I'm, I'm gonna redo this and I'm gonna make it so that um, we can get a maybe a little bit of better understanding of how the text is going to look. Not saying this is going to be the typeface or font or anything like that. That's going to be Kathy's job. Because <laughs> I I don't really uh, have the same desire to do, the, <laughs> do that part. Um, yeah. Okay, let's actually change the color of that. Yeah, and then we can add a couple of points in here that are showing some material, some texture. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling this. I'm really feeling this right now. What do you guys think? How do you feel about um, the, this wire tower so far? It was a photo of a water tower, but instead of one platform at the top, it had two. I've never seen that before. But on the other hand, I have not looked that hard at water towers before. You know, I'm not even sure why I even picked a water tower for this um, particular episode. I think it probably has something to do with me watching that 70s show because they always went up on the water tower and hung out and like caused tr trouble and stuff. And I was probably like subconsciously thinking of that. Um, Cause that's something that they would do. They would paint on the water towers. And I looked it up. I was like, is that possible? Like, what happens if you do that? And it's like, this is a federal offense and you can go to prison. And I was like, oh, perfect. This is perfect for my story. Hmm. I need to get more organized with the, my environment files. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I guess from a top view, let's say we, uh, not top view, what am I saying? I meant uh, like three quarter. See, it looks something like, here's the top portion, goes in, and then there's another sphere. Actually, I could just redraw that. Yeah, and then it's gonna come out. Lots of cylinders. Perspective is off, I know, I know. Okay, and then we'll have the ladders. It's gonna be four of them from each direction. That one's gonna be hidden. 
And then, oh, I should probably do this. Oh, darn it. I shouldn't have moved it over like that. Let me see. Got to find the center again. I think that, I think that's pretty close. I meant to do this. Here we go. It's just distorted a tiny bit. I think it's classically a thing teenagers find cool an unusual place, a bit of a dare aspect to climb up that high stuff like that. Yeah, that that makes me sound a lot smarter when you put it that way. So let's go with your version. <laughs> I've never climbed a wire tower or anything, but I have been in a situation somewhat like this, not quite as as uh, daring. I was not that kind of kid, <laughs> but. I had some people close to me who were more daring and they'd be like, Jordan, let's do this. And I was like, I'm scared. Well, you're going to do it anyway. Uh, okay. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that's how, that's how that stuff went down all the time. All right. So here we're going to have a little cut. This is going to be slightly smaller. Have a little cut. Yeah. So this is basically what we're looking at here. Not bad, not bad. And only an hour into the stream. So what I'm going to do real quick, um, I'm going to find a reference of like a way we can draw draw this out for now. Um, let me see. You know what we'll do? Let's go to our ever favorite Legend of Korra. Because they have an, and the reason I'm doing this is because they have an orthographic of one of their uh, buildings building designs and I absolutely love it. I think it's very gorgeous. And so we're going to take that as inspiration. I think it's from episode two, here we go. So it's not the drawing itself, but you guys can see what they did. They, you know, they have the front and the back design at day and nighttime. So this is basically um, what we can do. Uh, although to be fair, it might, it's probably going to be the same on all four sides, but I, I want to do that, uh, this version kind of cleaned up. And then I also want to do a um, more three quarter version. So let's, uh, let's do that. I don't think we need this anymore. But there was also another artist I wanted to uh, pull up. I think I still have the reference for him somewhere. Uh... I have like 60 tabs open, so I can't remember exactly where I found it. Uh, maybe it's my Pinterest. Actually, let's go to Pinterest. Okay, not in this folder on Pinterest. Maybe it's in uh environment art yeah here we go something like this i think is about the level of detail i want to bring it to which is actually not that much um i think it, it looks probably looks like a lot because there's like six buildings like this but you know, the detail in the shingles and stuff and the uh, this, it's actually not that difficult. So I'm going to have this up as reference slash inspiration. I'll pull down to the other screen. And by the way, the artist of that piece, in case anyone's curious, um, that is Kantaro Kamita, looks like. Is it going to take me? Okay, well, I tried. I tried. Oh, these are nice. Whoa. These are some beautiful drawings. I am going to make sure I don't get rid of that page. <laughs> some of those environments were gorgeous. Um, let's see. All right, so let's start off by getting this right. 
Let's do a tight, tighter drawing of the Shao Wa Tower. What do you guys think of the overall design? Do you guys think it's cool? Do you think it's whack? If it's whack, at least give me a reason why and be nice about it. <laughs> um, but I'm curious to know you guys' thoughts on it, seriously. Oh man, I forgot about the, the Photoshop update. They changed the order of everything, so I, can, I don't know how to find stuff anymore. Let's, take, let's lower that, I'll pass it down. Blue rough. Okay. Oh snap, look who's on, it is Mark. What's up, dude? Thank you for coming on the stream. Much appreciated to you, homie. How's life been? As much as I like the song, we should switch it up a little bit. All right. So when I come in and do that, just make it simple. I'm gonna just get all the horizontals as soon as possible. Um, I'm going to have to do a call out of this section down here, I think. Well, actually, hmm, I might not even need to do that because originally I plan. I, I was thinking it would just be like a, a cylinder in the middle, sort of like uh, some of the other wire tower reference we've seen. Why is, wait, where's the, is this it? Yeah, like some of these wire towers that have this giant pole in the center. I mean, it could look like that, but I also kind of like the idea that's a fill, full shape. I think that actually makes it more, uh, more of a fun silhouette. The wire tower is looking really cool, fitting and futuristic. Thank you, Lily. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, okay. Let's load properly. And then that let's erase this section here and again we're doing the symmetry tool work smarter not harder in a situation like this, this is probably the smartest thing i could possibly do so now i make a new layer let's change the color of this and i'm just going to do some simple things like coloring the or drawing in the the stairs and everything let's see so these ones have a zigzag. I actually think I'm gonna take this zigzag on these. It, I think it fits with um, the overall kind of triangle aesthetic. Oh snap, look who it is, Brian Crenshaw. It's like H2, whoa. <laughs> What's up, man? Thank you for coming on. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're gonna have this here, bam, bam. And then starting in the center, we're just going to Create a bunch of little triangles. Try and have them be equidistant as much as possible. It's probably gonna be slightly off, but since I'm the art director of this, it's fine. Okay, let's do something there. Small. The railing here. Bam, bam, bam. I get everything? Almost. Uh, I think this rail is definitely too high. Oh, wait, let me see. Where's the scale again? Hmm. Let me think. How high are, you, are rails usually? Um, let me see. Let me 
You just use these as a reference point. Okay, so the holders, shoulders are a little hunched. So that means it's gotta be slightly above where the elbow is placed. Is there one where there's like a guy just standing right next to it? Oh, here we go. Let's see. No telling how tall she is, but everyone's got their shoulders hunched up. So let's just say, <clears throat> let's just say in that case, in that case, actually it should be higher. Be slightly higher than what I had. I made a mistake. So that means I have to redraw those rails again. That's okay. This is an easy fix. That's what this stage is for, learning and figuring out how to make it work. And Javen's about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, just so you guys are aware, at least in my mind, um, that's how tall he is. And here, let me actually lower him a bit because, yeah, there we go. Just select that, move that up a tiny bit. Heard y'all were doing wire towers ever since Animaniacs. I've been a fan. Who? <laughs> yeah, Animaniacs is excellent. I love that show. I miss it. I know I'm late to the design part, but shouldn't the reservoir part of the wire tower be in the air, like very up high? Um, depends. I mean, there's a bunch of. Uh, Um, it depends. Let me see. Like sometimes they're very up high, um, but then there are other times where it's like this. <laughs> so, um, you know, so that's a whole wire tower. This is a whole wire tower. It doesn't look that high up. So I think, you know, there's there's so many varieties that we can get away with um, without tall are. And that's still, you know, that's still a good, you know, I don't know. How tall would this be? This looks like about 50, 60 feet, probably. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's between 50 and 60 feet high for the ledge. That's not including the whole thing. So, yeah. I hope you're built like a tank. Water puns. Oh, a water tank. Ha <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get these. Okay, let's actually cut that right here. And then here, what I'm going to do just for sake of speed, I'm going to select this, duplicate, and I'm just going to move it down slightly and cheat a little bit. Because why not? Who's going to tell me I'm wrong? Close enough. And then let's see. We're gonna have to do maybe I shouldn't do four. Maybe I should just do two. Yeah, you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna remove this middle stair well. Um, just make my life slightly easier. So we're gonna do we're gonna do this.
when I look at those pictures, I think maybe they just made it so the pillar part blends in with the actual reservoir. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a good point too. Um, that's a good point. Okay, so here, let's get these. How, did, how were they bolted, these parts? It just looks like a, there's like a giant center block, basically. So just a big old square. So let's, let's see, roughly be, this looks like a decent enough height for them. There we go. And then, Let's add this section here. I'll probably make a like a whole call out page too um, for this this design. Let's see. How would I play this? Yeah, it looks pretty wide. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to take that back about having these two support beams here, based on the size of it. Yeah, I need to. I need to add it back. False alarm! False alarm! Yeah, because I was thinking about it from like only a 2D perspective for a moment instead of a 3D and I'm looking at something like this. I don't think the wire tower is actually this size, but seeing the support that it's going to need, it's like, oh, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> you can't stand too well on just two uh, two legs. So, yeah, I take it back. Some people will be doing very interesting artsy things with the wire towers. Makes sense since it's a giant thing that everyone has to look at all the time. Yeah, you know, you, there's, it looks like there's two ways. You can either make it really cool and epic because, it, you know, people could be interested in it or you could just make it very uh, practical and boring. In this case, I want to make it really cool because it's, it's going to be a major set. I think at least, well, let me see. Let's look at the comic. Um, yeah, so from page nine to page 16, they're all on the water tower and at least three more pages after that, I think um, maybe two or three more pages. And so, you know, in that case, we want to make it interesting, right? If it was just a backdrop that was only going to be in one shot, I wouldn't care this much, but because this is such an essential part of the story, I have to make it look interesting. I have to make it worth my while. And, um, you know, because it's not like, I don't think most people go on, like, field trips to wire towers going like, ooh, this is so dope, right? Like, most people don't really care. So I got to make them care. However, I know how to. Okay. Let's make these little places for the little bracket holders here. And then I just need to check this bottom section, like, how that looks yeah okay it looks like they connect down here so what we'll do just for now let's do this in a different color in case i screw up somehow second wait I'm, i think i'm confusing myself with how many of these things i need wait i actually think i can you know what i think i, I might take it back again i think i can get rid of this because that's going to be around the other side you know what let me just draw it from here yeah two two yeah i'm gonna take <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm I'm clearly tired. Um, clearly tired. At least it's not a big issue. But yeah, I I take it back a second time. I second guess myself. It only needs four, so we can get rid of that. No harm done. No harm done. Just simple correction. I made a mistake again. This is like the second time the stream I made a mistake. The first one was saying it was a prop design, when in reality, it's <laughs> it's actually more of an environment. Or I guess, I mean, I guess it can be a prop, sort of, but it's like a giant prop, you know? Um, uh, would you guys consider a water tower a prop or an environment? Because <laughs> I'm not even sure anymore. Okay, so let's do this one last time. All right, that, that is definitely Inspire vs. Inspire vs. Wrath. Um, These little brackets. I can't, it, this picture's too low res to really be able to tell exactly how this is supposed to look. Mm, that's too small. Where are the high res images? Help me out, Google. Come on. You must have some, something that's useful for me. The resolution's good on that, but it's too, it's cut off too much. Oh, I kind of like how this is like all shiny. Like that. That's actually kind of dope. Okay, I don't exactly know how it works. I'm just gonna make something up and hope it works. Depends on the context. Um, I feel like all the like the context you're using the wire tower is a prop. Fair enough. I think of props as things a character can hold, carry, or move. The character can stand on or in or climb something, then it becomes an environment piece. Okay, interesting, interesting. Christians, on oh, what's up? What's up, man? Thank you for coming. Vehicles can go either way. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I think vehicles is like its own category, basically. Actually, no. Um, here we can have that come out just a little bit more. Have this come out a little bit more too. I might even have to create some sort of like height chart for this thing. Just so we know exactly what we're, what we're dealing with. It may not be completely necessary because, you know, it's just a three person team, <laughs> you know, and yeah, we may not need it, but it could also be incredibly helpful. All right. So that's looking pretty good right now. Um, I think I can safely merge this on here. Okay, save this. Let me just for a moment, after it saves, let's turn this layer off. This is what we're getting at for the water tower. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right. Now I wanna look at the stairwells for a second. Water tower stairwells. Maybe I should say ladders. Maybe that's a better way I should put it. Yeah, let's do ladders. The 
some of them are those basic ladders ever. Here we go. Here's something. Let's see. I believe that in the film world, if a character doesn't touch it, it's set dressing, not a prop. Oh man, now Megan, you just opened a whole new can of worms. Um, <laughs> um, hello, Christian Robinson of the Robinson family. Hope you're inventing something cool. <laughs> of course, in the comics world, nothing moves, and we're the ones who touch everything. Uh, who cares about how detail is? We'll just make the art assistant do it. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't really get what I was looking for. I feel like there's some that have a, a bit of a cover. Okay, here we go. So I have a ladder here. You know what I'm gonna do? Make it easier for myself. Just put that as a reference. The wire tower stairwell. And the way I see it, there's like a trap door under here. Let me see. Um, ladder and trap door. Yeah, there's a scene in Rush Hour that I'm thinking of that has it. Um, Not this one, that's Rush Hour 2, I think. You guys know what I'm talking about when, when Lee is chasing Juntao and he's climbing up the ladder and he like locks him in? That's basically what I'm thinking of. Um, but I can't find a good reference. I might have to find a, a stream of the movie to like find that reference exactly. So I think what will be useful for this is to create something like a, like a full design sheet. So like here, I'll show you guys an example of something I've done. Uh, let me see, where would it be? Industry, don't tackle. Yeah, let me move this in here. I did a, um, some props and stuff for um, for a game. Let me see, I think the service room? Is this what I'm thinking of? like some props and stuff that I did. So I add all these references and things like that. So I might create something just like this for the, um, what you call it for the wire tower. Of course, it's more for an, a video game asset um, library, I guess. But this will still work. This will still work just fine. All right, let's create a layer, let's label it ladder. Let's make this a uh, dark blue. And okay, bam. That's roughly here. Um, see, try and make them somewhat equidistant. This wire tower looks dope. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. This is fine. It's mostly cylinders. You got this. Every artist's favorite subject, ellipses. It's fine. This is why I learned a 3D model. You do know, though, that it doesn't need to be that complex. Depends on the scenes you intend to draw. Yeah, that's true. The 3D modeling is really just for, like, scale and major perspective stuff. So, like, we have a shot, for example. I can actually show you. Um, I think. Let's go to the one that down here. So this is a real quick drawing that Megan did, but I like this shot. The idea is basically that someone is coming up the uh, ladder on the wire tower. But in a situation like this, handling the perspective of something with a lot of cylinders is going to be a headache. Um, and plus, this is even the file shape that we're going to use. So, <laughs> it, so to make it our lives a little easier, that's why we're doing uh, a little 3D modeling and stuff. So 
yeah make lives a little easier um okay this is not equidistant let's move that um i think from a cursory glance this is mostly okay i think <laughs> move that up slightly and then probably move these two down and then try and just get that angle matched Oh wait, wait, it would be at a different angle entirely actually. Um, shoot, uh, I got it, I got an idea. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna erase that real quick. Let me extend these lines. And then I'm going to just draw a line straight down like this. And we're going to get rid of this section here. And then what we can do, we can actually probably flip this. Let's uh, let's merge the layer. Okay, I don't think it flips. Let's try again. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, and then what we're gonna do? We're just gonna get it so that these lines are parallel or close to it. Keeping in mind the scale, so we can back this out just a little bit more. There we go. So I can also duplicate this again. And let's flip that. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Making progress. Okay. Let's see. Through this tall, we can actually erase this one here. And we can assume the ladder just kind of goes all the way down this path right here. And then there's enough room for a body to fit here. It's going to be a little trap door on these two areas. Yeah. And I picture it being completely round. So, you know, it'll just pop it to, it'll probably be like this kind of spot. To make life a lot easier, wire towers usually have one point of access, so it should just be one layer unless things are different in the horror and usually very vertical. Ah, okay. Let's see. Um, well, so the vertical aspect, the reason we changed that was just to make it like fit design wise to make it look cool. That's, that's kind of rule of cool. Uh, but as far as one point of access, I guess we could do that. Yeah, why not? Why not? I like that suggestion. Yeah. Let's make our lives a little bit easier. I actually didn't change my workload at all, <laughs> except uh, at, at least in this example. So, yeah, there we go. Got the ladder, got that. Um, 
Okay. Still might be slight. It still feels slightly tall, this rail here. So let's just decrease that a tiny bit. Yeah. There we go. And then let me look in the script and see what uh, the thing actually says. Because I have it written down exactly what the wire tower says. Um, okay. Let's just say, welcome to. Oh, wait, I saved it instead of what I want to do. Like I said, this part will be worked out by Kathy. <laughs> Oops, not two, not 20. There we go. We'll see if I can handle it. Not gonna lie, my palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on a sweater already. Not mom spaghetti. He's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too easy. Um, I can help with the uh, with the big one. Oh, awesome, dude. Thank you. Um, okay, so I think I think as a basis, this is pretty solid. Um, let me just examine this. I need to double check, make sure that this all looks, I feel like there's needs to be more stuff down here, actually. Just some extra like reinforcement, you know? Didn't want it to feel too fragile. Let's see. You know what, Mark? I'm really glad that um uh, that you actually brought up the one exit because now I, I thought about the script a little more for a second. And I realized there should only be one exit. <laughs> so, so you actually saved us without even realizing it. Um, let's see. So let me just double check some of these things. Okay. It looks like this goes up past, but, um, Maybe there doesn't need to be a trap door specifically. Maybe it just needs to be an opening there. And scale wise, let me see. You know, I could probably even bring the ladder in a little bit closer. Like that. That's okay. That's why I said it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to do some some rhyming. Um, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper. Do you have the dimensions? I can do a quick sketch and blender. No, we are literally. What you see is literally as far as we designed it. I, I'm going to have to create a um, what you would call it uh, a height chart. I think for this, but the dimensions are roughly what you see here. I think so. Um, I would say. I haven't figured out exactly how tall Zalam is. He looks like he could be about six feet or six foot one. But uh, yeah, so if he's about six feet tall, I mean, we can take a guess as to how tall this is. 
Um, I prefer to use Javen as a metric because uh, he's the main character. But in this case, six feet is always like my point of reference because I'm a, I'm slightly under six feet. So it, it just helps me to go like, oh, yeah, six, 12, you know, 18, whatever. Um, it's the rails that will be tricky. The center big part is easy. That helps with stuff like rails, but I can't remember the name right now. The rails actually... Um, we can simplify that part we're modeling because it's just about perspective, right? It's not like you, we have to have this beautiful 3D model. It's just what's per, well, can we get the perspective? So if we can get you know these in right here uh, and those at the proper angle. I can always you know we can always map it out and say okay, this is the center point. This is the center point. Bam! Just draw that in. It's not gonna that that doesn't have to uh, be all finished up then there's the integration with the final art i did a pretty detailed model for one of my comics but it was stiff and oh man there were so many tangents yeah so that's another thing like we want to i want to it's funny we're like having a production meeting in the middle of a live stream right now <laughs> um the way i see it you know i think we should be loose enough where we can you know play around with stuff like that as long as we get the basics you know like if we're doing a couch you know get the proportions right but as far as how to draw the, the cushions and if there's a cloth or something over it it doesn't really matter we'll make that up as we go okay so that's looking pretty solid i think um i still do want to find a way to add some more details oh should there be lights do there need to be lights on these good rust on here Hmm. No, you know what? I don't think we need lights. We're gonna have the letters glow. And that'll act as our source of light here. Um, okay, let's get our design, our rough design on here. And where's the Pinterest? Where's the Pinterest? Uh, let's go back. Shadow boxers. Where was I going? Patterns, patterns, patterns. The thing about some of these patterns is they're not really on circular um, or rounded out planes. So it's going to be interesting. Who is this? That looks cool, but not exactly what I'm going for. Right. For this. For this. Um, Cause I don't want to just do triangle. I do that all the time. <laughs> I do like this because it feels more like hand drawn. So let's try see if we can get something kind of organic feeling. This should all be about the same height. So let's bring that up and that up. All right. And then I guess I could duplicate this as much as I felt like. Not saying this is the final design, but it's just what I'm doing right now. And let's merge those together. Design. For me, when I make when to make a, wait for me when to make a rail window and so on have thickness depth and when not to is really a tricky question. Um, I think. I mean, the way I see, I think everything should probably have 
depth to it because that's just how our world is, you know, but I guess it depends on the style that you're going for too. So it may not be completely ac applicable all the time. It actually does feel nice to kind of do something more organic on this. Uh-oh. Spinning wheel. No, don't do that. I have to go back in here and really make sure these things are properly aligned because I just noticed these circles are slightly off. I want to keep them. If anything, I want to make sure that those are close to the same placement. these all right and then we can erase up here all right not bad not bad and I could probably continue this down at the bottom too so let's duplicate that we're gonna flip it upside down and wait. there we go. Turn this off. Okay. Design's looking pretty cool, I think. And then I'll take this again. this shit up here. I wonder if I, if I stretch it out, will it look bad? Actually, it looks pretty cool. And again, not saying these are the final, you know, pieces of the puzzle. I think it's going to depend a lot on the graphic that we use for it, for like the writing and stuff, for the text. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot up here too. Um, Yeah, okay, so let's do this. Let's merge, well, no, not merging, we're not merging. I'm just gonna turn all this black. And then we're going to do a quick little fill. This is the guy I do individually. Oh, 
All right. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of our Shadow Boxer's water tower? Here, and let's fill this in slightly darker. Q for value. Maybe something like this. We have to design the color for it at some point too. Let's just see. I mean, again, it is gonna be tough without the text fully, but I don't think there has to be a lot of stuff done to it, honestly. Most war towers are gray anyway. Is this gonna be like a hangout spot in the story? Hopefully you didn't answer this already. It is it technically kind of a hangout spot, but it's not a hangout spot that's supposed to be a hangout spot. Um, Climbing up a wire tower is a federal offense in most places. So the fact that they're climbing up shows kind of what their their interests are. And, I, and I'll say this, the title kind of reveals it all. The, the title is based off the Kendrick Lamar song, The Art of Peer Pressure. So uh, you can take a guess as to what that's referring to with that in the wire tower. But yeah, that's what it said. Kathy says, very cool. I really like it. Well, uh, thank you both, by the way. Appreciate it. Super solid and in under two hours. Yes, I feel good about it. I honestly feel really good about it. And, there, you know, can I fix some things? Like, sure, right? Like there's, you know, I'm sure I could add a lot of um, cool design elements or like pieces that make it feel uh, more lived in. Like there's can be, there can be rust and stuff like that. Actually, that might be a good idea to add a little bit of rust and things. But, um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. Well, when you get to the distance enough in a BG, you don't want to inset the windows anymore or give a bowl a lip. That's what I mean. Oh, I see. Gotcha. That makes sense. Looking awesome. Makes sense. The boys would try and tag it. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, though, Gary Heroes ATLA Comics will be our gold standard drink. Yes, we got to hydrate. We got to hydrate. And just as a reference, I, do I have the comics on here? I feel like I have them downloaded, but I'm not sure. I might, I might not. Oh yeah, I have the search right here. Oh, so cute. Spoiler alert, potentially. Um, but yeah, if you look at the backgrounds here, actually, let me uh, let me just straight up open this. The thing with the Avatar comics is that a lot of it takes place in nature, so they don't have to always worry about architecture um, so much. But when they do, it's just it's very simple, just simple line drawings. And depending on the distance, you know, they'll um, they'll have a certain amount of details. So this is kind of, you know, what we're aiming for. And this is already going to take plenty of work as it is. You know, um, thankfully we're using Clip Studio Paint and we're gonna have some 3D models, so that'll make life easier. But we're gonna have to cheat a little bit. Like if you look at this background right here, um, you can tell they use the symmetry tool. Like if you look at the way um, this ellipse is going versus this one, um, and it's a one point perspective room, it would honestly be kind of dumb if they didn't use the mirroring tool or a symmetry tool. So yeah, these are the kinds of cheats that we're gonna have to incorporate. But yeah, so in the meantime here, let's let's add a little bit of color. Let's just take some time to do that. Um, the design, let's just change that to, the, oh wait, there's more than one layer for this. Let's do that. Uh, make that a little bit more, stand out a little more. Oh, you know what actually might be kind of cool? Wait a second. I think I have the perfect reference for this. Let me see if I can find it. There was a theater in LA that I used to um, try, but let me see, I think it's the Kirk Douglas Theater, am I right? Culver City. 
they had this building used to be colored so beautifully um there's like a really nice colorful pattern ah uh, I might not be able to find the reference, but I just remembered I have a, um, a suitcase with the tag on it of the pattern I'm talking about. And it's very colorful, very fun. I don't know much about who made it or anything, but we can incorporate that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just have to remember to do that later on. But for now, let's uh, let's add a couple elements. Let's get some rust on here. Where's the I hate how they changed the order of that. I was not ready for this. And here, let's uh, also make this slightly off-white. <sighs> okay. Special effects brushes. Do, wait, oh, I can search, that's right. Do I have something for rust? Ah, yes. Apparently I got like five of them. Actually, they're all the same brush, I think, for the most part. Excellent. All right, let's get a good color for rust. It's gonna be like a mid dark orange kind of something in this area. Oh, wrong layer. Wrong layer. Wrong layer. Okay, so yeah, get some some of that in. So yeah, it's a wire tower. It doesn't have to be something super pristine or anything like that. It just needs to function, right? I have to look at other comics they did to see how they handled the city stuff. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know what other comics they have done, but that would super that'd be super helpful. All right, let's do do some. I don't know if this feels quite like the rust I was anticipating. Let's try uh, let's try another one. That's the same, that's the same. What's what's this? Let's see. Ah, this might be closer to what I'm thinking. Let me see. When I did these, I don't think I added shadows to them, did I? No. Mm. Oh yeah, I did add some values to them. Quick shadow pass, I guess. Why not? And I do have the Patrick O'Keefe brushes. It might be perfect for this. Where's he at? Patrick O'Keefe, where he at? Where he at? I usually have them all in alphabetical order, but I think I use his brushes so much that I move them. Wait, where are they? Oh, where are the brushes? Oh, they're gone? Did I delete them? Oh, nope, nope, here we go. Boss alarm, boss alarm. O'Keefe is uh, our director on Spider-Verse, so. Yeah, I had to get that, get the get the vibes that I want. So let's see. There's the noise brush. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Might be a little much, but... Oh, wait, it's the wrong layer. Again. And then we can go in and maybe even um, adjust some of the colors. It doesn't have to be just this. We can have it be um, like a 
slightly darker gray and come in here. darker yeah I got eight minutes so I'm gonna change the song again <laughs> We'll use Blender to figure out all the lighting and stuff. I'm not really worried about that right now. I just want to kind of get it so that it feels round enough. The lighting's coming from here. A little dimension to it, you know? You know what I mean? It's important. And then what I'll do, I'll come in with the noise brush. Add a little bit of texture. To some of the places here. Get a couple of rakes in halftone patterns, could be fun. Because why not? I have the brushes, <laughs> right? Besides, it'll be fun for the art book one day. These are really cool. I love this brush. So right now I'm just adding kind of just random textures I'm trying to be as free as i can with it i'm not saying that the comic style is going to look exactly like this but i'm very fascinated by the way they they do stuff and um i want to do something more graphic with uh with the way we handle colors i don't know if that necessarily means we're going to use lines for the backgrounds for everything um it could just be blocks of colors i think even guru hero does that for some things in the distance like yeah, like some of these buildings, the line is may not even be visible, really. There's that other shot. Yeah. Looks like there's some really light line work, but it blends very well, so. Let me see, actually. I think I might need to do that on another layer altogether. Yeah, when you put the rust back on, it looks beautiful. All right, let's get that uh, multiply layer and let's just fill in some of those shadows if possible. 
multiply. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah. Dope. And then just for the sake of clarity, let's change this text to white. And then where's the design? Design, let's also change that to white. Let's see what happens. Or maybe like a, a bluish gray kind of thing. Um, that should be under here. Yeah. All right, y'all. So this is what we got. We started off, do a quick review. We started off with these sketches that I did on paper a couple of days ago. And we decided that we liked, uh, what was it? One, seven, 10, and 11, generally speaking. And uh, I also got inspiration from Javen's uh, necklace shape right here. So, uh, and this is a very important element in the story. Uh, it's so important, in fact, if you notice that it's also the shape of the logo. So I wonder what that's all about. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, then this was basically the final result. We started with, let's see. Oh, some random texture that got lost. Huh. Oh, wait, I think I know. I think that's the background. Yeah. So let's see. Start off with this sketch right here. And I think we just combined a couple of things. Cleaned it up a little bit. And then from there, just got our shape in order. Our little textures here. Or not textures, our different shapes for the ladder and such, add some color. And then there's gonna be text on the tower itself. Um, like I mentioned, it's not, this is not the final, this is something that's gonna be designed out separately and we're gonna warp it on there. But um, with that said, you guys, uh, I think this water tower is pretty much there. I mean, there's gonna be a couple of color things that I add to it and rust and stuff like that, but uh, we'll post some updates and progress in the Discord. Uh, thank you all for watching the stream. I appreciate it. And uh, all the progress we're making on Shadow Boxers is so much more enjoyable when you guys are involved in it. So thank you guys for your suggestions and your feedback. And I will see you all next Sunday. Have a good one. Peace.